Sunday. Why can I never get the day right? I feel like it's becoming the trademark that I really never wanted because it's embarrassing, quite frankly, but whatever. I've just realized I've done this backwards. I needed to do my concealer. Damn, just need to, yeah, get that little spot. This week has been a bit of a weird week, really. I feel like I've done so much, but so little all at the same time. I have actually been vlogging, but I don't know if it actually was particularly vlog worthy. And it's kind of just been one of those weeks where everything was slightly chaotic. So I didn't get the chance to check in too much, but I will insert whatever footage I have of that now. I feel like I can sum up this week pretty well, to be honest, by just saying that I have raging anxiety and I wasn't really sleeping. It's not been the best week. It's not been the best month, to be honest, either. Like it's been fine, but I do feel like it's been a real uphill struggle and I just have to keep reminding myself like whenever I want to give up on the things that I'm trying to do at the moment and like I'm really trying to push myself in different ways this year I just have to keep reminding myself that these are the moments that matter the most not just like when the big things are happening it's actually when like it feels like it you're pushing a boulder uphill and nothing is working and nothing is actually happening that that's where all of the good stuff comes from like the persevering when you feel like giving up so i've not really been like mentally in the best place this week so not too much chatting really happened we are also going to amsterdam not tomorrow the day after uh so i do feel a little bit like uh nervous about that just because i feel so unprepared and i know i actually spent the majority of last summer in a very unprepared state like some of the ways in which I just got up and left for Ibiza I'd never been that unorganized before in my life but because I haven't traveled in a little while now um I think a couple of months but I kind of get out of the routine of it and then it feels a bit scary all over again whereas when I'm doing it back to back it feels very normal and non-daunting so yeah very nervous girly over here this week i also am a little bit worried because i have really hurt my foot in addition to me just feeling like life is a bit of an uphill struggle at the moment in those moments i often become very clumsy as well and this week i fully managed to fall i don't know how i did it i was walking out the bathroom in a straight line and then suddenly i was falling out of the bathroom sideways and <laughs> It hurt so much and I realised that I'd like cut my foot and I was like stick a plaster on it and carry on but man does that hurt and then I, I didn't really look at it like beyond plastering it and then looked at it the next day and um, like my foot is green not from I don't have like a weird infection but it's just so bruised and it's not like a light green bruise it's like a i don't i'm scared i'm scared someone's going to tell me there's something really wrong but it's a dark green bruise like i have never seen anything like it um and my foot really hurts and it hurts to walk on and it's now been quite a while and it still really hurts to walk on so um i'm a little bit nervous about going to amsterdam because we plan on like walking a lot so they have bikes there right let's just we'll do that it'll be fine it'll all be fine but anyway let's talk about things that make me happy as opposed to things that make me very very anxious i'm going to talk about makeup this ysl new bare skin tint i really really like it i have had so many compliments on my skin lately and my skin actually does not look good like i haven't been sleeping well but i've had so many compliments on my skin regardless of that so i am fully blaming this because this is the only thing that has like really changed and well obviously i'm doing the underpainting technique and um, but this is the base product that i've been using for it and yeah i just love it i do it even if i'm not doing like the underpainting technique i just use it on an everyday basis and it just gives the best glow but it doesn't it's not so glowy that it is hard to powder because that really annoys me like there are some base products that are too glowy and you powder and you just look the same like five seconds later some days i don't actually powder because i just really think the glow looks lovely and fresh but not too glowy and i just i even like the way i look at the end of the day even when i am a bit too glowy and i haven't like repowdered i just still think my skin looks really nice very happy with the shade that i got which is shade four i think it's a really good match for my skin at the moment i am running out of my anastasia beverly hills brow pen i'm scared 
I do not have time to go and get another one before I leave. So I really hope I've got a backup. Have I ever done it today? Maybe. Just gonna carry on. I have also been using this a ton. It's the double-ended like Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner pencil thingy. You may have seen me use the darker um end for a tutorial around Christmas time, and I'm just really enjoying brightening my waterline and also the inner corner of my eye up with this at the moment. But I don't know if you can see a difference at all, but once all of the rest of my eye makeup goes on, it just makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. A little bit like further apart it gives them more of a wide set look and then i like to take a little bit of my tragic bare minerals powder foundation uh which, this is the brand new one but i was literally mid i dropped it on the floor to be in to be fair fairly soon after buying it and it seemed to be okay and i was like whoa got away with that one no a few days later it just literally i opened it up as i was doing this TikTok and it just fell everywhere. Um, it fully just, luckily I was like in the bathroom so it was fairly easy to clean up but there was so much powder foundation in my bath. It was just one of those moments where I was like, I'm now gonna have to clean my entire bathroom top to bottom and I'm meant to be leaving the house and I really don't have time for this. One thing that I am so nervous about for next week is the fact that the weather in Amsterdam is not gonna be great is similar to here but i think it's going to be a little bit worse and a little bit windier um which isn't really that's not the main issue because i just you know the weather's the weather i feel like i have completely forgotten how to dress myself over the course of january i i struggle so bad every january and this year is no exception and i just don't know how i'm going to pack for like a winter city break in January. I have made sure I've got a decent like luggage situation but I can barely dress myself at the moment with all of my clothes with me so I don't really know how this is going to go. It's definitely going to be interesting. My camera died but I just added a couple of coats of the Merit Beauty mascara uh, which I will try and link. I think I might have forgotten to link it in the last vlog but it, I don't think it's available in the UK yet so I will I will do my research and do my best to link it where I can. Huda Beauty lip liner which I'm loving so much at the moment. Yes I forgot to tell you guys. I have new products that I picked up from Look Fantastic. I forgot to use this but I'm really excited. I'm just continuing my uh, love of It Cosmetics brushes. This one looks so good. Oh. Yeah that's gonna be a good like just blending everything in all at once kind of foundation brush it's actually a powder and bronzer brush but that's going to be amazing for like a fuller coverage foundation i probably wouldn't use it for this um but i would use it for something maybe fuller coverage or if i want to use one of my bare minerals bare pro foundation powders that would be great so like a nice does it all kind of brush um i also picked up some Giorgio armani uh what are these called the power lip power Longwear Vivid Colour Lipsticks and I got the shade 102 and I think it was 104. Yeah, these are quite hard to come by, I've found, but Look Fantastic had them in stock. So 102, yeah, 102 is this gorgeous, really light nude colour. This is what I think they used on me when I did the overnight stay with Armani back in November. They used that in the centre. Oh, hello. Oh my god, that's stunning. 104 let's just have a little moment for these oh oh 104 might be my perfect nude lip you can't really see 102 it's a really really not light nude like you'd use it for your kind of your central lip i don't know if it'll show because my lip liner is quite dark it's stunning oh my god it's just my perfect nude colour. Wow. I also picked up this uh, Givenchy Beauty rose balm, lip balm thing. I did pick this up, uh, which is like the slightly warmer toned version of the blush that I wanted. That is so 
pretty. Oh my god, I can't wait to use this. So yeah, I picked that up. It wasn't the shade that I wanted. Uh, I came home and got it on Look Fantastic. Uh, this is shade two, whereas I think I wanted shade one, which is slightly cooler toned, but it's still really, really pretty. So I just love the texture of them, that they are loose powder blushes. And it comes in like a cord, and I think you can either mix them all together or you can just like use a certain one I think. I actually accidentally added two to my basket so I think I'm gonna like save this and maybe put together a little beauty giveaway at some point. But then I also got the Prism Libra Loose Powder which is in the shade 3 and it's like a pinky toned set of loose powders. I think this would be so nice as well over blushes to like diffuse them like to use them on the edges so i'm gonna try that today as well i'm really excited about that and i also was fully influenced by tiktok and i got one of these <laughs> they're so fun i'm a real tiktoker now but seriously though tiktok is a crazy crazy platform actually any of the short form content platforms at the moment they i really enjoy making short form content in the same way that i also enjoy making long form content but the response and like the I love when I'm on here or if, even if I'm on Instagram doing like stories it's just me and you guys and we all know each other and we have a really good relationship and it's just all nice and chilled and I can like say anything and you know what I mean whereas sometimes when things reach new people via short form content people are just so angry and it's like I definitely think that has actually affected my mental health a lot recently um, just being on the receiving end of that and this is not a complaint because I love my job and I love creating the content but what it does do is it really makes me appreciate like when I come over here and chat with you guys and I just love it so much it's just such a lovely space here like to have a space that is so safe and supportive and welcoming is such a beautiful thing yeah that's all before I cry <laughs> I'm just using one shade at the moment is this one here and then there's a lighter version of it which I want to then like use over the top and see how that works that's so pretty I actually need to try powdering first someone said that in the comments the other day and I was like yeah that's actually a really good shout oh my god This is what I have been looking for for a little while and just not really being able to find it. Okay, oh my god, this is so pretty. It smells so good as well, like the audacity of a beauty product to smell this good. So it's not really got like pigment to it, but because it has that slight pinky sheen, I think it's just really nice to like put over the blush and then bring like further into the center. I'm in love with this powder. Also me getting this to Amsterdam and back without a absolutely annihilating it do we think i should take it with me okay these are my sleighs of the week the lipstick that i'm wearing today it is actually gorgeous so so happy with that this powder is stunning like a really nice brightening powder i really like the where is it the huda beauty easy bake it is a super matte powder i really like using that if i want a really flawless look with this but these two mixed together these are just stunning. This lip liner, I just absolutely love. I need to get backups of this. I think it's like my number two favorite lip liner at the moment after Mac Stone, which I mainly use more for lip contour. Um, but like color wise, stunning. If I didn't need to try new products for my job, I would probably never try anything else. And then the YSL new bare look tint. Love them all. These are my Sunday sleighs. The suitcase is out. I am almost mentally prepared. <laughs> to start packing. I am ambitiously starting out with the small case, knowing that there's a very, very good chance that I may need to go for the bigger case because winter shoes are just chunkier. Like they're so much chunkier. It's not like when you go to Ibiza and even up to Ibiza, I would sometimes take a medium suitcase. So I'm gonna try and create myself like a little tiny weeny winter capsule wardrobe and just pack that. But I need to like try on a load of stuff. But I also have a few new bits that I want to try on and see if there's anything I wanna take with me, anything that I want to like revolve an outfit around, that kind of thing. I actually did an ASOS order, which I haven't done in the longest time. I just kind of felt like I wasn't really loving anything on there and lots of it was very trend led and 
yeah, just wasn't vibing with it. I saw this outfit. I don't know how I saw this. I don't know if it came up in an ad. I don't know. Oh no, no, I'm not sure I'm gonna like it. It looks so different. But I was hoping this would actually be like thicker. This is really, really thin. It's basically like a shirt vest dress kind of thing. So it's meant to look like a shirt and then you have like a vest over the top. Um, this is so thin. I'm gonna try it on. I'll do a little cutaway of what it looks like, but it's, it's so thin. I was hoping for a more like, there to be, it to be a chunkier kind of knit attached, even just a little bit thicker. That is literally like t-shirt material. That is not gonna keep me warm at all. Fortunately, I did order this, which to be honest, might not even be better. I don't know, but I ordered this off of the men's. Okay, so this is better. I ordered just like a v-neck vest in men's, hoping that it would look like a dress on me. And yes, it does, great. So I'm just gonna have to put my own shirt underneath, which is fine. I actually have like a shirt body that could work. So I'll try that. I'm just, I really wanted to have the one that was attached because I didn't want um, like loads of excess material, making it really like bulky. I also picked up some hats. I'm not normally a hat girl. I really struggle with baseball caps because lots of them are being produced and they're like super, super, high up on the sides it's the weirdest thing the adenola ones are so bad for it um the anina bing ones are like higher up but not ridiculously i picked this one up and it's okay it's definitely better quality than the adenola ones so i'm happy with this and i just wanted like a black cap i do have to have them quite tight to my head though because otherwise they do look a bit weird but i also picked up this one which i have had on my wish list favorited on farfetch for possibly like six months now it was one of those things where i was like no 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 and the like i just i didn't grow out of like liking this so cutest hat in the world and to be honest if it's gonna be windy i'm actually thinking like a baseball cap isn't the worst idea in the world do you think do we think it'll fly off surely not We'll find out. Yeah, it's so cute. It's like denim. I just love it. I just love it. And the shape of this is so nice. It's like a bit more boxy and it comes down further on the sides and I just think it suits my head shape a little bit more. I'm thinking like big oversized coat vibes with this. So these bits are really annoying. One of my tips, if you have like shorter bits and they kind of just act a bit annoying if you're wearing like a cap, is actually to put I don't know if I have mine, where is it? Oh yeah, it's actually to put one of these headbands in first. I'm gonna show you, because the way I put this headband in, you, this needs a wash by the way. If you see any grubbiness on it, I am washing it tonight. So it's all nice and clean for Amsterdam. The trick with wearing these headbands is to smush your hair, like your bangs down, tuck them behind your ears, and then put the headband on. You don't want any of that, that's, ugly so hard to do without pulling my baby hands out i've actually put this on i've put this on backwards so let's just ignore then your bangs are like under here and they're not like interfering but anyway you pull the hair forward whether you're wearing a hat or not i always pull like the hair forward so that it kind of like covers the headband a bit and then you put your hat on no annoying bangs and then you actually don't really have hat hair when you take the hat off either which i am a big big fan of so this is my tip for if you hate wearing hats because i kind of like love hate it like i think oh my god it does look so much better but yeah this is the kind of vibe i think i want to go for i'm gonna watch this footage back that always tells me everything like when i was doing the try-ons for last week's vlog i felt so ugly in this combo when i tried it on and when i looked back at the footage i was like this is the only outfit that i am like obsessed with yeah sometimes how you feel in an outfit isn't how <laughs> you look in an outfit so i always like watch things back i'm torn between going for more of a cool scandy style uh versus just going very classic and comfortable like i have lovely knits and jeans and then shoe wise i can like take these and go a little bit like edgy or i've got these gorgeous Colin Cooper flat boots which are stunning and would hopefully be very comfortable like walking around Amsterdam and this is more of like a classic vibe so it could go like skinnies a jumper these and then a big coat so very much torn between the two vibes 
at the moment. Don't really feel like I'm doing the most fantastic job at capsule wardrobing at the moment. This is a potential airport outfit plus like a zip up hoodie that I can just like take on, take off in case I need an extra layer. I don't generally find that I need tons of layers when I fly. So far I've found this coat is heavy enough to like keep me warm most of the time. I also have these Holland Cooper jeans which are new and they could look so cool with like these chunky boots. They fit so nicely. So happy with these. So they do jeans in tall, regular and petite and these are like the best length. They're so nice. They're so like jet black. I really like these. And then if I did this, the good thing is I could put my airport socks on underneath if I did this for the like the plane. What do we think? I think this is cool. Do we keep the white tee? Can I wear a hat? I really like this. I don't know if this is gonna be everybody's cup of tea but I think this might be a good day-to-day -day outfit and then maybe with like an extra layer under here mm. no sorry to waste your time but this is the airport how can I even forget this is like my most comfy outfit and I can wear this on the day we come back as well um because it's just nice and like cash maybe I'll switch the t-shirt out I don't know maybe different t-shirt the day we come back so that it's not too slouchy and oversized leather jacket and then what shoes do I normally wear with this so something like this for the airport this is when it all goes out the window because I have decision fatigue at the moment I have got to take these jeans with me I'm aware I'm wearing odd shoes I was just testing them to see like if these jeans were as good as I thought they were and they are so I have been looking for the perfect pair of like straight leg jeans for so long that will tuck into my cowboy boots without making me look without leaving me with loads of excess material like I wanted the whole like Emily Ratajkowski blazer little top mom jeans cowboy boots vibe and it was impossible to get with any of my mom jeans that I had any of my straight leg jeans was not working these jeans fit so well so these are a pair of Holland Cooper I can't remember if they're straight leg or mom jeans in a size 8. I don't think I have the petite ones. I will find out. But they just tuck so well into- I haven't even really bothered to tuck them into this boot. That's kind of how they just like- my foot just slid in. There's not too much excess material, it's just the right amount. But it doesn't look like I'm wearing a skinny jean. I don't know if uh, I want to take my cowboy boots with me though, but I'm definitely going to take these jeans. They even be cool with heels. They're just like the perfect not tight but not baggy jean. I love them. And they're raw hem as well, so you could just chop them if you wanted to. I'm going to take a little break from trying things on because I think sometimes I overwhelm myself by trying on too many things at once. Okay, we've had a brief interval for me to go and upload today's video, which I'm very nervous about because I obviously had a week's break and I don't know, now I have the fear. We are going to pack my skincare because I still am clueless as to what I'm packing in my suitcase. I think I'm just going to go with like good staples and like really boring outfits but then take a couple of bits to shoot. Skincare is always easy. I always take the same pouch. Where is the pouch? Oh my god it's been so long since I travelled. I don't know where the pouch is. There we go. So I always take this pouch. This is an old one from Feel Unique and Victoria's collaboration and I still use it all the time. It's just really handy because it's clean. Um, so I always have a mini Clinique take the day off uh, pot and then I'll decant my normal take the day off into this. Toothpaste is already in there. Skin and me. Eye cream. SPF. I've got a mini Tatcha moisturiser. So in case of emergencies, I am good. The only annoying thing is I'm really enjoying my Shiseido serum at the moment and I would like to take it with me but maybe I'll just pack it in my- I'm taking a suitcase, so I'll just pack it in my suitcase. But I like to have the essentials with me in case anything gets lost so cleanser skin and me eye cream a little moisturizer also gonna throw in a little vaseline and then my retainers so okay i think i've finally mentally got there with the packing so here goes nothing
best nighttime routine. The suitcase is getting there. I just need to add in beauty bits, hair bits, and makeup now. And now I am going to do my diaries, do my five minute journal, and get into bed. I'm going to start work, I think, at about seven tomorrow. I've got to leave the house at about nine to drop stuff to my mum's, go and get my car serviced at, I think, ten. I think it's 10 and then I am going to go for brunch with my mum because I haven't seen her in ages and I committed to this and my schedule is like tight but I'm gonna do it because I want to see her. So I'm gonna get a nice early night and I'll see you guys in the morning. Night. just about to go and get my car serviced can't find the log book anywhere so yeah good start to the day good start to the day love life shrimp Peru is here trembling because she hates the car i'm gonna miss you oh come on let's go you never lie down in this you must be enjoying yourself here so just to add to how much of a train wreck I am. I've lost my phone. I think it's at home. I already miss scrolling through TikTok. I miss Instagram. <laughs> I'm home, I'm finalizing my packing and airport dad mode has been fully activated. The Aspinall travel wallet is out it's been a while my friend it's been a while it is time for the pre-travel hair mask and wash we're going in with this kerastase chroma absolute mask today which is like for damaged and color treated hair um i love their masks they are so good so i'm gonna stick this onto my dry hair i am very generous with this i know um but yeah i'm gonna stick this in and just leave it in whilst i do my cleaning do my editing multitasking we love it. But yeah, I ended up being so lucky today. I <laughs> I could have really messed up with not having my phone. I was meant to meet my mum. She'd actually been trying to call me. And luckily, the guys at Aldi let me use their phone to call my family's home phone, which they would always, even if we hated each other, they would always be my one call in the world. If I like, ended up in jail and I needed to call someone they would even if I hated them they would be the people that I would have to call because uh, that's the only phone number that I know <laughs> like they're never allowed to not have a home phone because I will not know any numbers at all like what do you do it does worry me I need to like learn someone's number off by heart and like imprint it in my memory because I would be screwed if I end up in jail I mean I'd be screwed for many reasons if I end up in jail yeah they would always have to be my one phone call. Anyway, the hair mask is in. Baby hairs are wild. Like, I swear they are just extra out there at the moment. I feel like maybe I'm having some extra hair growth. So all that is left now is for me to try and finish as much work as physically possible tonight, make some dinner, wash the hair. Ryan's doing parking. So I think we're there. Says. thank you so much for getting ready for amsterdam with me and keeping me company fingers crossed i think i have enough outfits i basically have i need four outfits and i've packed six so there's basically one of each like one evening and one daytime outfit that are spare in case anything gets like dirty i don't know what could happen but i always just like to have like a spare everything is fitting in the suitcase I think we're all good. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got up to this week. I hope it wasn't too boring. I feel like this one, I'm worried that it was a bit dry, but the week pre-travel always is. And that coupled with like all of my scheduling issues over the past two weeks, it really just hasn't been ideal and it's definitely catching up with me, but I'm excited for us to go to Amsterdam tomorrow morning. I'm so, I'm just really ready for a change of scenery, but always just like boosts my mood a little bit so yeah really excited i will see you well i'll see you next weekend but i will be seeing the camera again very very early tomorrow morning i can't wait love you bye